Hello operators, Oscar Hotel 8, Sierra Tango November here from Survival Tech Nord. There are those times when we may want to share our current location with group members or other operators on air. Of course, we can do this manually with a handheld GPS or ham GPS running on your smartphone or tablet, then manually entering that location into JS8 Call or whatever app you're using. We can also automate this process to make it easier for the operator and less monotonous. So that's what we're talking about today, sending out an APRS position report through JS8 Call Utilities. Stick with me and I'll tell you all about it. You are listening to the emergency broadcast systems. This station broadcasts emergency news and official information on the air for a sign area. For this tutorial, I'll assume you've already installed JSA Call Utilities and JSA Call on your respective operating system. I'll leave links to the installation tutorials in the description, and that should help get you started. So let's imagine for a second I'm either traveling someplace or I've stopped someplace along the way, and I want to send out my APRS position to either group members or other operators. So unfortunately, I'm outside the range of a digipeter on VHF, so I'm going to use HF APRS to send out my APRS position report. So in this first scenario, I've stopped someplace and I want to share my location with group members. So I've set up my Chameleon MPOS 2.0 on a small portable tripod with the antenna a few meters or yards away from the car. Inside the car, I've set up the Zygu G90, along with the Raspberry Pi and the Samsung Galaxy S5e tablet to run JSA Call. The power film Lightsaber Max is up on top of the Outback. I used an extension cable to power up the Zygu G90 and the Raspberry Pi. That extension cable runs from the DC output on the Lightsaber Max down the back of the Outback and into the Zygu G90. I power up the Zygu G90 and the Raspberry Pi, and I get on air. Since I'm using cat control with the Zygu G90, I go ahead and start up FL Rig to control the radio when I'm in JS8 Call. After FL Rig is running, I'll go ahead and start up JS8 Call. Now once JS8 Call is running, it's important to go into Settings, then Reporting, and make sure these three checkboxes are checked. If they are, we can go ahead and start up JS8 Call Utilities. As I mentioned earlier, we have a couple of different scenarios with which we can apply JS8 Call Utilities. In the first scenario, we're stopped someplace. We want to send out our position report, perhaps once or twice to a group using HFAPRS. In the second scenario, we're on the move, we're on the go, and we want to send out a periodic APRS position report using JS8 Call. Now, in order to grab your position, APRS requires a GPS. That's also true for JS8 Call utilities. So I'm using a standard USB dongle. I've removed the outer enclosure and wrapped it in heat shrink just to make it smaller on the Raspberry Pi. Now we're ready to go. So with JS8 Call running, FL Digi running, and my radio on, we can start to send out a APRS position report. Assuming we've got some GPS satellites in the sky, the first thing we want to do is click that Get Grid from GPS. If you click that and nothing happens, it means you don't have good GPS coverage yet. When your GPS has enough satellites, you'll be able to click that Get Grid from GPS button and the grid square will be populated into the box just to the left of it. So this button gets the grid from your GPS and populates the grid square box. This box tells you you have a good lock on the GPS and your current grid square. This one will transmit your current grid square. And this box will update your grid square in JS8 Call. So let's go ahead and click that button. The first thing you'll notice is the text is properly formatted and populated into the composition window of JS8 Call. Depending on your settings, it'll either start transmitting at the top of the frame 
or you'll have to hit that send button to fire it off. This one is set up to send automatically, and that's a JS8 call setting. Now in the perfect world, when the planets are all aligned and the stars are all in the right order, our signal is going to be heard by a station and relayed on the first try. If it isn't, here's a couple of things we can do to improve our chances. First, we can reduce our speed to slow mode. This is especially useful for using low power because it can be decoded at a much lower signal to noise ratio than the faster modes. Next, make sure you have an accurate system clock. You can do this with your operating system or you can use the time delta utility inside GS8 call. Next, we want to make sure we're using the correct band for the time of day. Now, setting my APRS position actually failed on the first try, but I moved over to 80 meters and then it was successful. Next, we should really make sure we have a clean signal. Overdriving our signals does nothing to help it being decoded, but does help to create QRM on the bands. Finally, it's always a good idea to simply try again. I can say with almost 100% certainty your signal will eventually be copied by one of the stations on air. So once we send out that APRS position report over JS8 call, we can head over to APRS.fi to make sure our APRS signal report made it to APRSIS. So not only did the signal report make it, we can see actually the station that heard us and forwarded it to the net. Oscar Zulu 1, Papa Mike X-Ray. From my own perspective, I believe this is a pretty incredible integration between APRS on HF and JS8 call. For those operating beyond the range of a digipeter on VHF, this is a pretty incredible update. It's also one which isn't dependent upon putting up additional expensive infrastructure for APRS. Now remember I said there were two scenarios where this utility would be very useful. Well that second scenario is one where we are moving and we want to constantly update our grid square in JS8 call. For this scenario, I installed the Super Antenna MP1 on the Subaru Outback. And I've got the Zygu G90 just on the back seat with Raspberry Pi running JS8 Call Utilities and JS8 Call. JS8 Call Utilities gives us two ways to send out our position reports. The first is to auto update the JS8 Call grid square. This is the grid square JS8 Call uses when it heartbeats. It's also the one which is visible on PSK Reporter. The other setting allows us to automatically transmit the grid, like an APRS beacon, to APRS IS. This one can be seen on APRS.fi or similar sites. Now, I believe both of these tools are incredibly powerful because they allow others outside of the amateur radio community to plot your location as you move along. This is true regardless of what type of portable station you are. Portable, fixed field station, mobile, maritime mobile, it doesn't matter. Now let's finish up this video by discussing how traditional VHF APRS works. If you're in a densely populated area with lots of eye gates and digipeters, you have absolutely no problem. But if for some reason we take away the digipeter, we take away the eye gates, or remove their power supply, then our APRS messaging and position reporting on VHF will be limited to line of sight communications. When we're using JSA call utilities to send HF APRS position reports through JS8 call, we alleviate the need for line of sight communications or the digipeter. We can take that five watts we use on VHF inefficiently and use it on HF to send our signals hundreds or thousands of miles or kilometers. So undoubtedly VHF APRS is absolutely magnificent. The idea is not to replace it, but it is to augment it for those operators who are outside the coverage areas of eye gates and digipeters or operating pretty far off grid. All right, guys, let me know what you think about JS8 Call and JS8 Call Utilities for sending out APRS position reports over HF. 
And if you happen to speak to Mike Zero, India Alpha X-Ray on air, let him know how much you appreciate the work he's doing with JS8 Coal Utilities. I'll leave a link to his YouTube channel in the description. If you're supporting this channel through Patreon, PayPal, or simply sharing my content, you're absolutely magnificent and I couldn't do it without you. For the rest of you, if you like what I'm doing, if you like the content I'm creating, leave me a comment and a thumbs up to let me know. And if it's not too much to ask, please share this video with someone or someplace where other operators might enjoy it. Rock and roll, guys. Thanks for watching. Ciao.